A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And for all those who are listening to this for the first time on Instagram, for you the link has been given down below. The YouTube link will take you towards the complete playlist. Check out the playlist column and over there you'll find out about depression, you'll find out about relationships, you'll find out about health, dieting, exercises, chair exercises, yoga asanas and much much more. Have a look and if you like any of those videos, do share it with others. So let's go ahead with today's blessing, 226th day of our godly blessing. What does Baba have to teach us today? And what does he want us to achieve today? Let's have a look. Baba says, may you constantly wear your crown of light. The crown of light is at the back, right? You must have seen it in many different religious sculptures where you see a crown of light behind Jesus, behind Gautam Buddha, that is a light of purity. Purity means no lustful activities. So that has a huge effect on achievement in our life. We'll explore that in a bit. May you constantly wear your crown of light and have all your activities carried out with signals from your thoughts. So those who have purity, their thoughts become very powerful. They get projected very far away. Without speaking, you can get things done. You can pass on the message to other people without even speaking. So, let's get into the explanation part. What does Baba have to say? Baba says, the children who remain constantly light can never waste their thoughts or time. Light means light in the mind. When we have pure thoughts towards ourselves, towards others, towards the world, towards everybody, towards animals, everybody, that's the time our thoughts are limited. So we don't waste time also thinking wasteful thoughts, impure thoughts, negative thoughts. We automatically re remain pure. Now what is that purity? You can learn it at Brahma Kumaris, the highest level of purity. So they only have thoughts that are going to happen practically. So no doubts. When, what, where, how, will it happen, will it not happen. Without greed, if you have thoughts of selflessness, then they are very powerful because they have the purest thoughts and they will happen for sure. I'll just give you an example about it. Just as you clarify something by speaking about it, in the same way, all their activities are carried out by their thoughts. They don't even need to speak to clarify things. Their thoughts itself are so powerful. Your thoughts will become so powerful that you won't even have to clarify certain things. You can send signals to other people through your thought waves for that first level of purity is very important so this is this sounds like the thought ninja now here you're able to create a ripple effect in other people's life in your life in the world with your thoughts and you don't have to clarify anything provided they are very powerful and pure thoughts pure thoughts are powerful so then Baba says when you adopt this method the corporeal world will become the subtle region this corporeal world will become the subtle region who is there in the subtle region there's a world above this world before we go towards the supreme abode there's a world in between that is a world of angels and that is the world where the angels don't talk through voice they don't talk through any vibration they talk through the thoughts so they give signals to each other through thoughts god is saying that world will come onto earth that means you'll be able to talk to each other through thoughts so for this what you need to do is get into that for this, accumulate the power of silence. Silence doesn't mean that keeping quiet. Silence in thoughts. Too much thinking, too much of negative thinking, too much of impure thinking, too much of doubt is not silence. How to remove that? We learn at Brahma Kumaris. And all these Vardhans have been, all these blessings have been talking about that for a very long time. For this, accumulate the power of silence and constantly wear your crown of light. Silence, crown of light, purity. That means that crown which is a symbol of a moon-like symbol at the back of the head shown behind pious or pure souls is a symbol of purity. That means they can never have any kind of distinction, any kind of impure thoughts towards any souls in the world. Only those souls who are connected to God and who find everybody and see everybody as an equal soul become pure. They have got no lustful thoughts, no greed, no jealousy, no ego. That is, a, that is a sign of that moon crescent at the back of the head. So, God says, purity is very crucial 
for you to actually make things happen with your thoughts where you don't have to work hard to explain something don't have to force yourself to give an explanation to other people don't have to work so hard through words but through your thoughts god wants us to reach that final stage how do we do that how do we take the first step basic step you get to learn it at brahma kumaris for which you're most welcome to visit your brahma kumaris center nearby the brahma kumaris university is a spiritual university where you get to learn spiritual knowledge for free it's not a religious conversion sect or a cult it's a university so i leave you with this beautiful vardhan if you have any comments do leave your comments and if you have any suggestions do leave your suggestions they're all welcome down in the comment box have a blessed day and stay healthy om shanti Thank you.